uh, everything we we don't up to now uh, had no funding uh, but me i am giving money for this project and the other two are uh, working hard to get the printer better and the mortar and concrete better and everything we we did using about 13 35 dollars 35 thousand dollars oh. $35. How did you build it for $35? <laughs> so the whole project up to now, uh, we are not uh, telling about the, the time we spent to, to build and everything, just the money we, we need. So, uh, of course, uh, everything can be better if we had more funding, but we, we could do everything up to now we just a little bit money i think it's an achievement i always say to to andre that he's the best professor a student can have because he motivated his students to start the project and he gave money so they can uh they could build the the whole thing uh it's very rare to find professors like that at least in brazil uh, i don't know if in the u.s you can actually find someone so supportive in the university, but he is really a, ma a major part of the project. He's, I'm very proud to to know him. He's a he's a role model. I think, of the too. <laughs> I, I think well, the problem is not having the money, but taking the risk, taking the risk, because I, I, I'm not rich. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> and so you guys are looking for fundraising. And have you publicly um, made certain requests for a, like an equity for an amount of money? Or is that all private right now? Like how much money do you want to raise? We are planning this part now. Uh, we are structuring all the, the, the whole project to uh, expand the machine and the material and build other uh, constructions, not only in houses, but as Andres said, uh, they also build furniture, uh, like for exterior parts of the house and also uh, some tables and some chairs. That's very nice. So we are trying to see what we can build and how much we are going to need. And we are in this part right now, right Andres? 